Hi, the following is a training video on how to use the new A320 with IR monitor. I've already pre-launched the application, but the way you'd start out is going to your start menu, programs, FLIR systems, Thermavision systems tools and utilities, and click on IR monitor. You'll get a gray screen that says no camera selected. Click here to select a camera. Once you click there, it shows a list of available cameras that are connected to your network, and you simply grab the camera and drag it to the camera grid. Do that for each camera, and once you're done, click on View Cameras in a Grid. This process can take up to two or three minutes to connect. Right now I'm looking at a warm coffee mug. You can see that I have an image, and I'm going to wave my hand in front of the image. The update isn't too bad. You should get about 5 to 10 hertz update rate displayed. Immediately you'll notice that there's different tabs and buttons available to me. One of them is remote focus. I'm going to go ahead and auto focus on the mug. There, that's not too bad. If I want to tweak it a little bit, I can go farther away or near until I get just the right focus that I'm looking for. I also have a zoom option. Now keep in mind this is a digital zoom and doesn't optically zoom the camera. Therefore it might get a little pixelated once I do the zoom. There, now I'm zoomed in on the coffee mug. Let's go back to our 1x view. If I want I can also freeze the image so if something exciting happens I can freeze it and then save it for later. The NUC button stands for non-uniformity correction and basically that's that paddle that clicks in the camera every once in a while. The paddle helps maintain uh, uniformity across all the pixels and when you first power it on it'll drop quite a bit as the camera stabilizes in temperature. This also will happen every uh, few minutes or if the temperature, uh, ambient temperature of the camera varies a lot and it helps keep the image crisp, clear, and uh, accurate with regard to temperature measurement. If I click it now, you may have heard the click on the camera and of course the image still looks great. 